Okay. Thank you, sir. I mean, this has come uh, very unprepared. So I am only talking more. So, I, uh, so your speech will be the best today. See. No, no, uh, not uh, the best. I am also speaking. You are yes. He I know. The, so yes. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm only speaking because there was one hour allotted to this, and there was the reason, sir, why this one hour was allotted. The reason was that this bill was approved and passed uh, when my distinguished colleague was the minister. And it came to me during the steering committee and we made some suggestions and that in his clarification he had explained those suggestions. Now, this is naturally has to come because we are part of the Montreal Convention and after every five years when the rates are revised, we need to make a legislation of this sort and that again is, uh, is something that the government must think, otherwise every time this happens, then you'll have to come with a fresh legislation. Now, that I think is totally infectious. Once you've made the bill, why should you keep making a legislation every five years whenever the SDRs keeps changing? I mean, it, it, it ought to have been automatically incorporated in that. No, that is a lacune in your bill, uh, Honorable uh, Deputy Jabin, sir, which I want this government to consider. Because the bill as it stands today tells you that five years later, when these SDR limits are changed, then again you have to bring a legis legislation. No, no, your, 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 your enabling part of the bill only talks of, sir, uh, what you have circulated. A, 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 no, no, 8A, even that enabling thing, the memorandum regarding the delegated legislation at the end of this bill says that the, the delegation of legislative power is therefore of a normal character for this particular bill. Again, you will bring after five years when, when a change is bound to happen. So what I was suggesting, and that is what we would want, is that you bring back an amended form where there's no need to, for any government, yours or anybody else's, there's no need for that to come back. As the Montreal keeps, I mean, the convention keeps changing, then as, as a member of that convention and as a member of the ICAO, it becomes a normal part of a normal procedure. Why, why should the, uh, I mean, parliament keep meeting like this in order to uh, keep, because from 1 lakh SDR, it is increased to 1 lakh 13,000 SDR. For that, sir, is it necessary for this legislation, I mean, for this parliament to keep on enacting because there's a change in, in, in the amount? Let the next government also get an opportunity, that is to... <laughs> no, no, but it. next, no, but does it, sir, <laughs> ikaw. No, uh, <laughs> that, my, my uh, friend Jaira has pointed out a very important point, sir. So I think the present government should be told that it is ikau, not cow. Uh, so, so don't be under the impression you can amend it. <laughs> you, you, can, you can amend it. And therefore, I am only the wisdom of this house. All that I'm saying is come back with the proper legislation with this necessity to keep coming back to the parliament. Every five years when the SDRs is changed does not happen, number one. Number two, sir, here there is a fundamental problem in this uh, bill, which uh, I want the uh, government, it's not in terms of a criticism or an attack or anything, but I want you to, in all seriousness, to consider it seriously. Now, here we are limiting the liabilities in accordance with an international norm. Now, the question of what my learned friend who spoke earlier comes up, it says death or bodily injury. Now, the definition of that, normally here in India is justiciable of what is the definition or the intensity of the bodily in body injury. And accordingly, the compensation would be fixed. Now, here you have a general category of death or bodily injury under one category, and that is the limit to which the compensation can be given. Now, is that fair? Is that fair because this supersedes all other possibilities of compensation that normally occur in India, which are justiciable, which are justiciable. The, 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 uh, I, mean, I would like to draw a parallel. The Motor Vehicles Amendment Act that had fixed a 10, 10 lakh ceiling on on the compensation that you are planning to give. One of the honorable courts in our country, in Kerala, sir, the state you come from, had given a compensation of 30 lakhs odd. Now, that is 
possible today. Now yeah. you are eliminating such possibilities by fixing up a yeah. an upper ceiling. Yeah. Now, now, so therefore the maximum ceiling is being fixed up. So that is an issue that merits a certain degree, certain consideration. Therefore, the rules that will be drawn up through you to the Honorable Minister that I would like to tell them, that these are points which I think the government should, should consider them on the basis of the merit of why we are suggesting. That do not now tie our hands up in case of the nature of India, the, its, uh, uh, its uh, society, for why things happen, why the accidents occurred, is it a terrorist attack for which the compensation you cannot exceed beyond a certain limit. If they are victims of terrorist terror, do, don't we have the liberty to decide what should be the compensation? Today the state governments announced, the central governments announced, but here you cannot announce more, the, more than the ceiling. So therefore I am saying that please reconsider these, these aspects of the bill. You come up with a more comprehensive thing or here you give us the assurance. But I'm afraid your assurances won't work because the international convention for which there is no leeway and a loophole. Once you sign, I know that. Once you sign, you are committed to it. I know that. That is why I'm saying these three points you please consider. You please consider why is it necessary to keep coming back. If you keep coming back, you'll hear people like me making some points like this, for which you'll have to answer or you'll find it difficult to answer. No, therefore, therefore, what, number one point. Number two point here is that you are removing this, uh, uh, this decision of how much compensation you will pay for, on the nature of the accident that occurs from any discussion. And that is something that, that whether we in India can, can really afford, given the nature of such attacks that happen, the unfortunate things that, uh, that happen in our country. We've been through, uh, I mean, we've gone through Patankot, we've seen this, where the uh, various governments keep, uh, I mean, announcing their compensation, that will be precluded. And thirdly, there is no gradation of the nature of the injury that is caused to you. All of them are treated lump sum in one category. So consider all these matters. And that is why my urging to the government is that these are matters that require certain consideration. And I'll, I'll urge through you, sir, this government, to come up with a more comprehensive thing whereby there's no need for future generations in this house to keep coming back every five years to pass a legislation only because the SDR limits have changed. So that is the serious uh, liquidity in this, and I want the government to at least considered, but now that they've brought this bill, they have no option because 2009, 2016, you'll have to do that. But at least give the uh, assurance in this house. I wish it had come along with this, but at least give that you'll at least stop this burden on the further generations to do this. And don't take away the discretionary right. Perfectly possible to argue at the ICAO that given the nature of the attacks that we are uh, subjected to, it's perfectly possible for us not to possible. retain a discretionary no, power. No, it is not possible. That discretionary power retaining, that is a right we must retain, which is not there in this bill. And these are therefore the four points that I had made that okay. must be considered. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No, sorry.